Okay, today I'm looking at about a 18, 19 foot trailer I bought from a guy. I was looking for just the axle and uh, this guy sold this trailer to me for 75 bucks. It, uh, it's rusted out in the middle and uh, when I asked him what, the, what was wrong with it, still rolled and all, he said he just wanted to get rid of it. He bought a new one, just going to get rid of it. So for 75 bucks, I got the whole trailer. It's kind of rusty in the places you might think it'd be rusty. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this trailer, this boat trailer, into a 5x8 utility trailer. And I'm going to do that by cutting off these parts that curve. I'm going to take the straights and use them to make the ends. I'm going to have to take some of the straight and add on to the back a little bit. We're going to strip off these boat guides and these bumpers. I'm going to sell those. I'm pretty sure at the end of the day I'm going to make a profit off of this trailer. And at the same time, me and my sons, and maybe my son-in-law, are going to have us some fun building a trailer. I'm going to probably need some more angle iron for the cross pieces. I'm thinking, even though it may be a little short, I don't know, we may get away with using that tongue. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with this winch and post. Probably keep that, I don't know. May sell it, I can probably get a pretty penny for that too. But all in all, I got a real steel for 75 bucks. I only had to tow it back, I don't know, about two or three miles. It hung together long enough. Axle's in pretty good shape. Springs are rusty as hell. Put a wire brush on them, coat of paint. But other than that, this thing was fixed. You're probably looking at $500 trailer easy. But instead, I'm going to tear it apart with my kids, my son-in-law. I'm going to show them how you can take one trailer and make another trailer. Okay, we're back on our utility trailer conversion. We're converting, we're converting this boat trailer. 18 foot boat trailer into basically a square utility trailer, a five by eight. So what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna strategically cut in these places and we're gonna harvest metal that is at this point curved. And we're gonna take the straights and we're going to use them for the end pieces. We're also going to use them to add another foot onto the end. Okay, because we've got to cut off this piece of junk on the end. All right. We've got to cut out these rotten middle pieces here. But um, again, there's going to be some strategically done stuff here. These things are bent. And whether I'm cutting it with a grinding wheel, or whether it's a rotoband, or whether it's a sawzall, I'm pretty sure that there is some pressure in here on these bins. So what I'm thinking is I may cut this line here where we have a, a brace, and then I may go back here and cut down here in the front. where we have this brace. So that when I cut that middle brace, I'm kind of in the middle things. I'm, I'm assuming things are gonna pop out, not in. Um, just one of those things you, you gotta think of. As I was measuring this this morning, uh, you know, it is 62 and a half in the middle at the axle, but it's 63 and a quarter on the end. And up here by this first cut, 
it's 61 and a half. So we're going to make it 62 and a half square. Not going to be a problem once we get everything broken loose and once we get the end cut back. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to end up with, with, uh, you know, with some, with some, you know, with some cut pieces, some pieces with some, uh, probably some, some pressure behind them, but we're going to see, and we're going to be able to harvest all this stuff. We're going to use that, that tongue. We're going to use this axle. We're going to use this, this back as our square body. Probably going to get some, uh, just some channel or maybe even some uh, just some angle iron to go across to build the ribs in the middle and uh, yeah alright I'm gonna pull this thing up to the old mud pit garage that way I'm closer to everything I need alright stick with us Okay, back to cutting. Uh, you're going to see me use a combination of rotor band and uh, grinding wheels to cut this thing up, depending upon where it's appropriate. Uh, so, hang in there. Take a look at this. It's going to uh, going to look bad as we start to destroy it, but don't worry. It's going to come back together. You're going to see exactly what I've been seeing myself. It's going to make sense. Okay, so this is what we have left. This is the beginning of the box, part of this trailer, the trailer, the deck. We're going to take one of these straight pieces we cut. We're going to cut it off, notch it to fit in the front there. At 62 and a half, I think, we'll check again. And then, we've got that locked in and square. Then we're going to go on the back. We're going to add a foot and then a square piece on the back so now you can see where we're going we're going to leave that rusty uh, member in the middle right now just for a little bit i don't know maybe broke all the way it may not be doing much good but it'll help keep a little bit of, of stability so this is where we're going stick with us you'll see this thing come all together really soon
skin tacked in. The fit up is pretty ghastly with the gap, but uh, uh, I was trying to uh, adjust some things. And so I'm the fitter, I'm the welder, I got to deal with it. No big deal, really. We got it to about 62 and 5 eighths. I'm not too discouraged by that because we still had some stuff uh, kind of hanging on the back there that might have been jamming things up, but I think we're going to be okay. That's cut in there now. This will be the front end of the trailer. That's where we'll weld we'll weld our our tongue there and then we'll run some braces diagonally into it and maybe some gussets are right up against the uh, against the metal itself so okay so this is what we've done today we cut a lot of metal out of the way down to this part we've got this notched in and uh, we're done for the day stay tuned for more